Okay, things are starting to get interesting at the quarterback position for the Detroit Lions. Check this out. Anthony Richardson has gone all the way up to second. He has the second best odds to be picked number one overall. So this is Vegas. They know what they're doing. He's right up there with, with Bryce Young. So he started this whole thing off. <clears throat> you can see long shot. Well, February 20th, February 2nd. <laughs> one, now he's plus 300. And so here's where we're at. Jared Goff is our starting quarterback. This is what uh, Brad Holmes had to say. Hey, look, it's easier to get worse at quarterback than to get better in this league. I think what Jared Goff has done this year, captain the ship, top three offense, blah, blah, blah. Like, Love him, right? We're all in agreement that Goff, if he's our starting quarterback, which he will be in next year, we're in great shape. We're looking out past that, though, and we're looking, hey, he's got two years left on his deal, and I really appreciate the fact that the Lions are, they talked to Anthony Richards, they're, Richardson, they're looking at him because you could get stuck in, yep, you know, hey, Goff's their guy, great, love it, but I don't think... If you can get better, you you really want to get better because the best case scenario is Anthony Richardson is an absolute stud. You turn him into Josh Allen. He can throw. He can run. You're not worried about him getting hurt because he's an absolute animal at 250 pounds. And the worst case scenario is you know it doesn't work out. But the the quarterback position is so important that so you have to take a look at it. So I've come a long way on Anthony Richardson. At first, I didn't want him, but I've got a reason why we could take him at six and you sh you could be okay with it. So that's what Brad Holmes had to say there before the combine. Then at the combine, he says, hey, yeah, you know what? Quarterback just has to make sense. Obviously, we like Jared. He's our starter, but we don't have a lot behind him. So now he's really talking about, yeah, we we're definitely going to get a quarterback. And so he said, but we need to add some pieces in the room overall. So whether it's free agency or the draft, we just have to continue to get somebody to develop. So that tells me a younger guy, right? A younger upside guy. That's what I'm looking for in that backup position because really you're looking for somebody. I mean, if Goff's out for the season, then our, our season's going to be in trouble. But if he's out for a couple of weeks, you can get a young guy in there, can maybe win a game. That's all you're looking for. So you look at Anthony Richardson and what he did. And I'll tell you why I have coming, I'm coming around to him at pick number six. I, I don't think we'll do it, but if we did, here's why it would be okay. If you look at him, he took over the starting role just this year. He had a great performance in week one win over U Utah and then struggled next week at Kentucky. That was a sign of things to come. Inconsistent, up, down, you name it. So he finished the season with pretty good numbers. I mean, 17 touchdowns, nine interceptions. He did rush the ball for 650 yards, nine scores there. But here's the deal with him. He's only a red shirt sophomore, and this was his first year playing. So you have to believe Dan Campbell, Ben Johnson can get the potential the most out of this guy. You cannot teach the 244 pounds. You cannot teach the speed of a 4-4, four, four, the, the uh, vertical jump of 40 inches, just the size, be able to run. He, he you know Because quarterbacks, it's like, well, when you get to the NFL, you can't run. Well, this guy actually can run because he's fast and he's big. Justin Fields, fast. Cam Newton was big too. I mean, there's certain quarterbacks where it's like they could actually take a few hits and it's going to be okay. And it's not like Bryce Young or CJ Stroud where it's like, do not run. You will get broke in half. These guys can run. And here's what I love about Anthony Richardson at six. I didn't like it at first because it's like, I hate using a premium pick on a player that's just going to sit. Maybe he plays in two years, three years, maybe not. It's just hard for a Lions that's on a rebuild that the rebuild's almost done, and now we're at the point where we like want to try to win playoff games. I hate the fact that you got to use a pl you know draft player at six to do that. But Anthony Richardson with Ben Johnson on special packages, short not short yardage, read options. Uh, I mean, you name it. You can you imagine what you've done is you've unlocked Ben Johnson's just this whole other side that is not even possible with golf. Obviously, you, you can't. Ben Johnson could have dreamed up all these plays that he would do with a mobile, strong quarterback. It's like, well, okay, great, but you can't do it, obviously. Man, now you can. So you're using him. He's actually an asset. He comes in, he change of pace, a little, another wrinkle that teams have to prepare for, and you still have golf. You still, I mean, that's your bread and butter, and that's what you need in big moments. 
third and eight, right? Scoff. But Anthony Richardson, third and one, third and two. I mean, it makes a lot more sense to grab him if you think you can use him. If Ben Johnson believes, that, yeah, I get this guy. I, let me show you what I can do. Then, then there we go, right? And that like makes a lot more sense. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you be okay with Anthony Richardson at six or don't even mess with it? Don't even bother. We've got too many other needs. We need, like, I get it. We need defensive tackle. And that's the other thing, or excuse me, defensive tackle, defensive linemen. Yeah, we need linemen, defensive linemen, no question. But when you talk about the most important position on the field is quarterback, it's worth the try to see if Anthony Richardson can be it. Again, I don't think we do it. I don't really want us to do it, but I am okay if we did it. So if that answers any questions, I basically, whatever we do, I'm fine with it is basically what I'm saying. And, and at first I was like, do not draft Anthony Richardson. Like he's just, but I didn't realize it was his first year starting is not on a good Florida team. They, they've documented that. It's not like this stud Florida team. It's like, it's not even a very good team. He's playing Alabama, Tennessee, right? They're, they're good. LSU, they're playing like good teams. And he's just like, not that bad. What if he's not that bad throwing and you can really believe that you can turn him around, turn him into the player that you know you want him to be. So if we take him at six, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean golf is, you know, it just means, dude, we're taking a flyer on an absolute stud and what's worth a try. And we're going to try it out. Not not the other way around where it's like, oh, what are we doing? Go we have golf. Yeah, we have golf. Goff's going to be the man, but it's worth trying if you can just to just to see. And the fact is he could play. He can play right away. And like, I don't even know. Like, I, I would. That's what I'm so curious to see what Ben Johnson would cook up. That's the the intriguing part. And what I'm really interested in more than anything is like, what can Ben Johnson do? With a guy that's 6'4, 244, runs a 4'4. Four, four. He can throw it too, obviously. So it's like, all right, he's in quarterback, he's in wildcat. Bring the wildcat back. Jeez, that's basically what it is because he's just going to run it or hand it off or threat. And he's doing read option with St. Brown. I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking all this stuff up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments if you would be okay with Anthony Richardson. And if not, who else would should we draft? Because, again, there's other guys there. No question. Tyree Wilson will be there. But are those guys good enough where it's like we have to take Tyree Wilson? We can't mess around with Anthony Richardson? I don't know. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. And make sure you subscribe. And we will see all of you on the next one.